Solving quadratic equations by graphing, part 2, using the graphing calculator. In solving quadratic equations by graphing, part 1, Joe solved quadratic equations by graphing. In this lesson, Joe will solve by graphing with his TI-84 plus silver edition calculator. This applies to the TI-83 and TI-84 series calculators. We will show the advantages of solving quadratic equations with the calculator. This is the first equation we will solve today, negative 2x squared plus 10x equals negative 12. But we'll go back to the four-step process for solving by graphing that we saw in Solving Equations by Graphing, Part 1. The first thing to do is Step 1, to solve one side of the equation for zero. That's most easily accomplished here by moving the negative 12 on the right side over to the left side of the equation. And over on the left side, the negative 12 becomes positive. So we have negative 2x squared plus 10x plus 12 equals zero. Now for step two, now we can transform the equation into a function by replacing the zero with y. Now Joe swaps sides to have y on the left side. Uh, now for step three, to graph the function, we go to the y equals or function editor view and put the quadratic function into the calculator. Now this sign at the beginning of an expression is the negative sign at the bottom of the keypad and not the minus sign at the right side of the keypad. Now this is the x key. No other independent variable besides x will work in the function editor mode. Uh, the squared key is on the left of the keypad. Instead of using the squared key, you could use the exponent key on the right side and place the 2 after that. But that would take two keystrokes instead of just one keystroke with the squared key. The next key graphs by pressing graph or zoom 6. It looks like the solutions or x-intercepts are at or near x equals negative 1 and x equals 6. Each of the tick marks on the x-axis is a standard window represents one unit. We check out the table view by pressing second, then graph. We see one solution at 6, 0. We, if we arrow up, we see our second solution at x equals negative 1, so at negative 1, 0. We have confirmed the solutions to this quadratic equation as negative 1 and 6, x equals negative 1, x equals 6. Let's look at this quadratic equation, um, 2y squared equals negative 24y. We check out step one. We need to change this quadratic equation to quadratic function. To do that, we need to make one side zero, and that's most easily done by taking that negative 24y to the other side of the equation, which in effect adds 24y to both sides of the equation. On the other side, it becomes a positive 24y, and the right side is left with 0. Now step 2, change the 0 to y. Joe converts the, quad, the equation to a calculator graphable quadratic function by changing the 0 to y and the y's to x and also trades places across the equal sign. So what we have is y equals 2x squared plus 24x. Step 3, graph the function. He places the function here in the function editor axis by pressing y equals he graphs by pressing graph or zoom 6. Now we're at step 4, find solutions along x-axis. It looks like we see one solution at x equals 0. We can verify in the table view by pressing second, then graph. We see a solution where y equals 0, when x equals 0, just like the graph shows. And it makes sense because if we look at our original equation, 2y squared equals negative 24y, both sides have to equal 0 when y equals 0. But for the other solution, we know there is another solution because the function crosses the x-axis here and a parabola has to cross the x-axis somewhere else as well. There are a couple different ways we could go to find the other solution. We can adjust the graph by going to the window view. To see where the function crosses the x-axis, we need to zoom out on the x-axis and these values are what we need to adjust x min and or x max. Joe changes x min to negative 20 and x max to positive 20. We press graph and we see that the second solution or x intercept is over here on the left and from here you can use the trace operation or even other things but a good way to go is to look at the table view. You press the second then graph for the table view. Now from here he pushes the up arrow button until he can see the second zero under the y1 column which he finds here at x equals negative 12. At this point, we can take that negative 12 and plug it into both sides of the original quadratic equation to see if both sides are equal at y equals negative 12. Instead of changing the window first to find the second solution, we could 
have gone directly to the table view first to look for that second solution. Let's look at this next equation. x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals 0. To solve this equation by graphing, step 1 is not needed. We change this equation to a quadratic function in graphical form by changing the 0 to y. He also flips sides to make it more to his liking. Step 3, graph the function. We now place the function in y equals or function interview. We graph the function by pressing graph. Then we immediately work on step 4, finding solutions along the x-axis. We see maybe a solution or solutions over here to the right of the x-axis, but cannot make out what it is very well. We expanded the x-axis view from the last problem. We can change it to standard window by pressing zoom, then 6 for standard window. It looks like the curve touches down around x equals 4. We can look at the table view by pressing second, then graph, which accesses the table view. Uh, we see a solution at x equals 4, and we notice that y goes up from either side of 4. 4 is the only number that will satisfy this quadratic equation. This situation is when the equation is called a quadratic square, sometimes called a perfect square. We can call it a double root or a root with a multiplicity of 2. We'll be looking at perfect squares more, cl more closely when we learn to complete the square to solve quadratic equations and also when solving by factoring. We will now look at this one, negative 3m squared plus 6m equals 4. Step 1, solve one side of the equation for 0. We arrange the equation to get 0 by itself by moving out the 4 on the right side of the equation over to the left side where it becomes minus 4 on the left side and 0 is left on the right side. Step 2, we change the 0 to y and the m's to x's and we flip around the equation. We have y equals negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 4. Step 3, we place the function in the y equals or function editor view then press graph or zoom 6. Step 4, find solutions along the x-axis. Since the curve of the parabola does not cross or touch the x-axis, there is no solution or real solution to this equation. Amongst the real numbers, there is no value of m that makes this equation a true statement. Let's look at this quadratic equation, x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Stop the video and solve the quadratic equation by graphing. Restart the video when you have your answer to see how you did. This is the quadratic uh, equation converted to the quadratic function y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. Here's the function entered in the y equals view. Here's the function graphed. It looks like the solutions are x equals negative 3 and x equals 1. Here's the table view. Negative 3 and positive 1 are the solutions, either one of which substituted for x will make the equation a true statement. Now a summary. Quadratic equations can have 2, 1, or no solutions. You may have to adjust the window to see the solutions while graphing the function. Check the table view to verify the solutions. In this next section of this video lesson, we will learn to find solutions to equations where solutions may not have integer or whole number solutions. Early in the lesson, we graphed quadratic equations and found solutions with the graphing calculator. In this portion, we will show how to find non-integer solutions to quadratic equations. At this point, we'll address the quadratic equation n squared plus 5n minus 2 equals 0. This equation happens to be the first one Joe tried to solve in the introduction to quadratic equations lesson. Step 1 was already done, so we go to step 2 and change the quadratic equation into a quadratic function in order to graph it. He changes the 0 on the right to the y or dependent variable, and he changes the n to an x. Now he switches the dependent variable to the left side of the equation. Now it is calculator ready. Step 3, graph the function. We go to y equals to enter the equation. Now we enter the function y equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 in uh, y1. Now we graph by pressing the graph key or zoom 6 to assure a standard window. To see the exact numbers, Joe goes to the table view. If we press second, we get the up arrow in the upper right corner of the view screen. Then the graph key to access the table view. He sees here at negative 2, comma 0 as one solution. 
But we look here and see that the y value goes from negative to positive between x equals 0 and x equals 1. How are we going to find that answer? The keystrokes to follow are a little detailed and intricate, and you may not have seen them before. I encourage you to follow the keystrokes and to stop and rewind if necessary to be sure to understand how to do what we are about to do. Press second. Then the trace key to access the calc menu. Arrow down once to get to the number two item, the zero choice. Press enter. We see the cursor blinking here on the y-axis and the left-bound question mark. Since we're evaluating the point or solution here on the x-axis, the cursor is to the left of that point we're evaluating. That's where the red arrow is pointing. Since our cursor is already on the left side of the solution we're trying to find, press enter. There is now an inward arrow up here on the y-axis. He arrows to the right a few keystrokes until the cursor is above and to the right of the solution on the x-axis. Press enter. Now we see the right inward arrow facing the left inward arrow and the word guess on the left side. Press enter. We see the second solution at x equals 0.33333, which simplifies in fractional form to one-third. So Joe's solutions are negative two and also one-third, here in set notation form within brackets. We will now work on the equation 6x squared minus 5x equals 6. The first thing we do is step 1, getting the right side equal to 0 by moving the 6 to the left side of the equation. Now employing step 2, we have y equals 6 squared minus 5x minus 6. Step 3, graph the function. Here we place the equation in the function editor by pressing the y equals key and entering the function. We press graph or zoom 6. The solutions appear to be between integers, with one between negative 1 and 0, and the other between 1 and 2. He accesses the calc menu by pressing second, then calc, which is the trace button. We arrow down once to option number 2, which is 0. Press enter. The cursor is blinking here at the bottom of the parabola on the left side of the vertex. To evaluate the right solution, he presses enter, there is an inward facing arrow and also a right bound question. We press the right arrow a few times to get above and to the right of the x-intercept. We press enter. We now have two inward facing arrows and guess appears to the left, to the lower left. Press enter. The solution is marked on the x-axis and is identified as 1.5. That's one of the two solutions to the quadratic equation. To find the second solution, press X, press second, press trace, arrow down once to zero, press enter. The cursor is very close to the x-intercept already found and the left bound is being asked for. We arrow several keystrokes to the left and above the solution on the left, press enter. Now there is an inward facing arrow in the right bound in question mark. Arrow to the right to get below and to the right of the left solution. Press enter. Guess is highlighted. We press enter. The other solution is negative point six 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 seven, which is really negative two thirds. Joe's answer here in set notation, negative two thirds and one point five, uh, meaning that we can check our solutions by plugging back into the original quadratic equation. Now let's look at this quadratic equation, negative m squared plus 6m plus 12 equals 0. Stop the video and find the solutions by graphing. After finding the solutions, restart the video to see how you did. Here's the quadratic equation converted to a quadratic function, y equals negative x squared plus 6x plus 12. Here's the function entered into the y equals or function editor view. Here's the function graphed in a standard window. Here's the solution on the right side of the parabola, 7.58 when rounded to the nearest hundredth. And here's the solution on the left side, negative 1.58 when rounded to the nearest hundredth. So the solutions are approximately negative 1.58 and 7.58. For more detailed explanation on how to use the calc menu to evaluate quadratic functions, see Evaluating Quadratic Functions Using a Graphing Calculator. And you may click on this page to go to that video that gives the more detailed instructions on finding these key values. This has been Solving Quadratic Equations by Graphing, Part 2, using the Graphing Calculator. Thanks for viewing.